Um, well, hello. Uh, my name is Gina, and I have been recovered from an eating disorder for about 10 years now. I was going to school at the U of M, and I was a sophomore, and it was my, um, it was the first semester, and I was walking from one class, I had just finished a class, and I was walking to another class, and I, well, looking back now, I'm pretty sure it was a panic attack, but basically I just I felt like I couldn't breathe, and my heart was racing, and I didn't know what to do. So I called my mom, and I'm like, Mom, I don't know what's wrong, I can't breathe, I feel like I'm dying. And she's like, well, find someone to help you. So I went, and I went to my advisor's office, because she just happened to be right down the hall. And I kind of explained to her what was happening, and she was really nice, and she kind of helped calm me down, and she um, went with me to like the student counseling center on campus. And so we went there and I got to meet with a psychologist and just kind of everything just spewed out. Basically all of my anxieties around food and my weight and eating and just everything came out. And I, you know, I think I was in denial for a long time about what was happening. And so they didn't, you know, diagnose me right then and there, but it seemed pretty obvious that I was struggling with an eating disorder. And so they recommended me to the EMILY program. Everyone was really nice, but it was also really scary. And I, like I said, I was still kind of in denial about it. So when I was first going through recovery, I still like wanted to go to school. I just wanted everything to be normal. So I kind of did treatment part-time while also going to school. And during that time, my eating disorder just got really bad. Like that's probably when it got to the worst point because I think I was just trying to hold on to it because I think part of me knew that if I was going to commit to recovery, that it was gonna you know, eventually go away, and that was really scary. Got to the point at the end of that year where I just had to make the decision to basically either you know, continue on with my eating disorder or commit fully to recovery, and I decided to commit fully to recovery, so I took a semester off of school, went to the EMILY program, did it you know, full time, and it was the best decision I've ever made. definitely consider myself on the right path and I don't think I could ever go backwards um, and actually now I'm studying to get my master's in social work because I want to <laughs> help people with eating disorders that's my passion um, and if I wouldn't have gone through this experience I wouldn't be where I am today I wouldn't be the person that I am today I just can't even say how grateful I am for all the people here I met so many amazing people the staff were wonderful. I met friends that I still have to this day. Basically, to anyone going through this, just know that it will get better, um, that you really just have to hang in there and that the people here are so wonderful and it's okay, like I said, it's okay to take two steps forward and one step back. It's okay to take 10 steps forward and 20 steps back. Like you just keep fighting, it's so worth it. Um, you're worth it. Uh, yeah, so that's, I don't know, that's pretty much, that's me.